Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Life of Logan TV. And coming through the door, if you haven't done so already, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you're always notified whenever I drop one of these videos. Also, along the course of this video, if something strikes a chord with you, if something resonates with you, if something speaks to you, I would, I would greatly appreciate it if you would drop a like and hit me in the comment section down below if you feel so do, uh, to, uh, if you feel so moved to do so rather. All right, so we all heard of the statement, misery loves company. And we all know it and I, I feel like if you are of a certain age and you don't even have to be that old, you have encountered some miserable people in your life. Uh, someone I know likes to call it very stranger danger. And it's because it's not normal for people to just walk around and be miserable, regardless of what they've had go through um, in their life. We've all had things go through, go, uh, go on in our life and things that we've had to push through and everything. And some of us are more better at doing it or some of us don't really wear the things that we've been through as much as others do. And it's a lot of those things. Um, we uh, People are in dark places sometimes. People are in dark places sometimes and uh, even though they might be super grown, like super duper grown, they're still afraid of the dark. Now, you would think if they're afraid of the dark enough that they will pull themselves out of the dark place. But sometimes people either don't know how to or they just refuse to. Now, here's the thing. They can't be in the dark alone, so what are they going to do? They will pull you down into the dark, or they will pull somebody in the dark with them because I don't want to be in the dark by myself. And then they start to pollute your energy. They see you're in a good relationship, uh, and they can't find a relationship that amounts to anything. So they're trying to attack yours and uh, they see you're happy so they want to ruin your happiness and bring you down it happens with friends it happens with family it happens with just general things these are these are people who are walking around out here like this even people who one would think that you're supposed to have my best interest in mind but they don't quite often have uh, your best interest in mind they only have their interest in mind and their interest is I don't want anybody to be happy around me. I don't want anybody's light to shine around me because my light doesn't shine. And if my light doesn't shine, well, I don't think that it's fair that anybody else's light shines. And that's the way that uh, their mind thinks and then they start projecting those things out to the world. So, I know it might be hard to do. I know it might really be hard to do, but you gotta get away from them negative people. You gotta get away from them negative people. Those people who are just determined to continue to drag you down through the light I mean through the darkness uh, when you are light you know you are light you are love and you're getting dragged down into low vibrational energy and it's not helping you and if something isn't going to help you then what is the point of us even interacting with each other if we're not helping each other I can't help bring you up from the darkness that you're in partially because you want to be there and I'm not going to let you drag me down through the darkness because I don't want to be there. I've been through that and I have no interest in going back to it again. But what do y'all think? I would like for you to comment, keep the conversation going, hit me down below and uh, make sure you like the video and just make sure that you keep on supporting this. Uh, tell a friend to tell a friend. That means share. And I will talk to you later. As always, good morning, good afternoon. Good evening and good night.